Good evening and welcome to E24. Let's start tonight with the drama that puts extraterrestrial threats into a very real world. We're talking about the Doctor Who spin-off Torchwood, which will definitely return for a fourth series. Well, the ten-part sci-fi drama will see Torchwood creator and former Doctor Who head writer Russell T. Davis lead a team of writers to create the new shows. Well, we can cross live right now to LA to speak to the man himself, Russell T. Davis. Thank you very much for joining us here on BBC News. That's a pleasure. Hello. Hello. Now, Torchwood has always been filmed in Wales. It's about to get an injection of international flavour. Tell us all about these uh, storylines based in the US and all around the world. It is. It's a bit soon to give away too much about the stories, but we will still be shooting in Wales. There'll still be Cardiff action on your screens, but the story now takes the uh, team to America and to some other countries as well. It still can be very good, very personal stories. Sometimes you describe this international stuff and it sounds like a 1960s series called The Jet Set or something. It's going to be really good, strong human stories at the heart of this. Never mind the travel, it's still about people, really. Can you confirm John Barrowman will return as Captain Jack alongside Eve Miles as Gwen? The Barrow Man will be back, bless him, and they're all very excited. And hopefully some, uh, some more UK signings to come as well. And a new uh, American cast as well. And, and that's part of the fun of the script as well, which is going to be the culture clash. It's not just going to be, you know, sometimes Americans crop up in dramas for no reason. This is going to be the Americans puzzling at the Welsh, the Welsh not knowing what's going on in America. It's, it's a lot of fun with that, the big had out of the story. So it's going to be lively. It's going to be a good laugh. Now, the first Torchwood was obviously shown back in 2006 on BBC Three. Then it moved over to BBC Two, and then last year we saw it on consecutive nights on BBC One. Clearly, it's a popular series. Why do you think it's done so well? I think that the science fiction stuff is very popular. Uh, fantasy stuff is popular. I think we were very lucky in casting it well. Uh, there's just an appetite for, for, for the story, and it's this sort of... It's a funny show in a way. It's sort of designed for the digital age. It's a bit of a weapon. The way it keeps moving channels is that the fact now it's, it's a production with BBC Worldwide Productions. They're actually the makers of this. That's the first drama BBC Worldwide Productions has ever made. So, again, this is a new way forward. It's a new way of making drama. It's a new way of funding drama to be in association with stars. So, so you know, as a title, it's, it's sort of generic science fiction title that, that acts as this digital weapon to go into new channels like BBC One, to go five nights a week on BBC One one like nothing I'd ever done before. It's like, it's just suits the age really to have a flexible dynamic show that can take new shapes and this is the newest shape yet so it's exciting. It does sound ex exciting indeed. Now many will know you of course as the man who revived Doctor Who. You made it cool again. Do you miss it? Oh, I do. Do you know, the greatest responsibility the Doctor Who team has now is getting me a disc every single Saturday out to Los Angeles, which I sit and watch every Saturday night and love. Um, so I don't miss it, actually. I'm a viewer now, and I, I watch a lot of the episodes, and apart from loving them, my overriding thought is, oh, what's hard work. So I'm really, part of me is very glad not to be sweating over that TARDIS again. And truly, Matt Smith and, and Karen Gillan are just, it's a, what a glorious new age. It's the show that'll never die. Would you change anything now that you're watching as Not a fan? How dare you suggest such a thing? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, the only thing I'd change is I'd make 20 episodes a year. I'm sure they'd be glad to hear that. But more, more Doctor Who. That's what we need. Well, I'm glad that you are enjoying yourself as a fan, and we do miss you. And we're loving the new series. Thank you very much for joining us here on BBC News, and good luck with Torchwood. Thank you very much. Cheers.